Pico do Arieiro, the hike that begins above the clouds. Before this hike, we had to settle in on the rocks for nature's wonderful performance and incredible sunrise. Once the sun was fully up, we followed the trek along ridges and through mountain tunnels before reaching the highest peak in all of Madeira, Pico Ruivo. This might just be one of the most beautiful hikes in the world. Sunrises and cloud inversions weren't the only things on our minds when venturing this rich island. We took ourselves to the southwestern landscapes to show you guys the mighty cliff sides of Madeira as the sun set below the horizon. Good morning guys, it is such a beautiful morning here in Madeira. Right now we are on the Pico de Arriero hike, which is arguably the most popular and famous hike on this entire island. This morning was absolutely beautiful with this amazing cloud inversion. It was honestly probably one of the top five sites I've ever seen in my life. I think ever since I was a kid, I've always dreamed of sort of being above the clouds. And I think mm. this morning, it was truly like that. The clouds were literally right beneath our feet. We're standing at one of the most gorgeous viewpoints, getting some beautiful photos. And once the sun popped out, oh, everything just glowed orange. Seriously, beautiful. So we stayed there for quite a long time, about an hour, just waiting for the sun to rise. And we are finally starting off our hike. It's about four to five hours long, 11 kilometers round trip, and a quite a bit of elevation gain, I would say over a kilometer of elevation gain there and back. So we're excited for doing all these stairs. We hear that there's gonna be a few scarier ridge walks. Yeah, there will be, but I think, we'll, we'll, I think we're experienced enough that we'll be able to handle it without an issue. We're just really excited to get out here and do uh, this really, really amazing hike. So far, the hike is extremely developed. They have this entire path made of rock tiles, I think they're called, flat rock tiles with a bunch of steps and we're going down here for the first part. So it seems easy, but I know it's gonna get harder. There's two main viewpoints that people come to for sunrise. Number one, where we were at this morning, is called Miroduro do Juncal. do Juncal. Now that one is the most popular, the most busy for two main reasons. Number one being how massive the area is. So lots of people get to pick their own place on the hill to go catch the clouds and the sunrise. And the second reason, probably the bigger one, is the fact that it is the closest to the parking lot. A mere five minute walk, it's not much elevation, very easy to get to. Now the second viewpoint where we are at right now is Nino da Manta. Now this one is a bit of a hike from the parking lot and it actually follows the trail that we're on to get to Pico do Ruvio. I think it's about 1.2 kilometers already to get to this viewpoint. Yes, and there's actually quite a bit of elevation change, steep stairs and steep climb. The viewpoint here is still gorgeous because you have a panoramic view of the mountains, but our favorite still has to be Juncal. Now let's go continue on this hike. It's honestly such a blessing how well defined this trail is. The way they paved everything, they have railing guards so you make sure you don't fall. And best of all, the clouds are still beneath us. It's just gorgeous. So far, we've been almost consistently hiking downhill. So on the way back, this is gonna be a really painful final leg. Wow, this area is so abundant with wildflowers. The birds are chirping so loudly too. Oh. It's actually really cool because when we were walking, it was completely just exposed ridgeline the entire time. And then out of nowhere, we're walking through these flowers, these trees, it almost felt like a little forest. And I think we just came to a really big tunnel. And the tunnel has a name. It's called... 
Tunaldo Pico do Gato. Yes. Oh, goodness. This is so narrow. You can see a little square at the end of the tunnel. This is such a long one, too. I wonder who carved this out. It's beautiful. Yeah, because from the outside, it looked like the tunnel would be really big. No, it's, it's actually fairly small. It's not cramped, but it's a lot smaller than we expected. We feel like we've been hiking forever, but we've only been hiking about a third of the way. There's still 3.9 kilometers in order to get to Pico do Ruivo. I think we pronounced that wrong at the beginning. It's Pico Ruivo. It literally never ends. The stairs, this incline. Some of the steps are really steep too. It's quite the workout. We're really appreciative for the cooler temperature right now. We're also in the shade, so that helps a lot too. That was by far the hardest incline we've had to do. The hike started off super mellow, just going downhill, down some steps, all easy, and out of nowhere. It was like a near vertical climb on these stairs. Honestly, a little bit freaky, but luckily there was railings, so everything was safe. We're definitely getting a little bit tired, but it's only about a kilometer left until we hit the viewpoint. After over a thousand meters on elevation gain, we finally made it to the top of Madeira at Pico Ruivo. The views up here are absolutely insane. Because we're at the highest point, there's very little obstructing. And of course, the clouds are still rolling through the mountain. That's what happens when you wear a backpack. But it keeps me so cold right now because the wind blowing against the sweat. Ooh, how bad does it look though? It looks like you jumped into a pool. No, no, no. This looks like I worked really hard to get here. But now that we've hit Pico do Ruivo, we're going to hit a third spot called Achada do Teixeira. And that'll be our final stop on this journey, hitting three different viewpoints on this entire hike. Uh, the path itself is relatively flat and it's quite easy to walk on. So for anybody not looking to climb, this is a fantastic choice. And the other great thing about it that you actually don't get at the beginning two viewpoints is that as you're walking along this path, you are significantly closer to the clouds. So it genuinely feels like you're walking on them. So if you wanted to avoid doing the daunting hike that we just did, you could also park at Achada do Teixeira and hike the 5.6 out and back return trip on this flatter path. Now we definitely recommend still going to Arieiro for sunrise if you just want to check it out from there and not do the full hike all the way to Ruivo. So we started our adventure above the clouds, we're driving through them now, and then eventually we'll come below them. It's funny how we've been here for a few days now, but this is actually the first time that we've come out in the evening. Because we like to get really great views in the morning and by the time afternoon rolls around, we're pretty exhausted to be able to come out for sunset, right babe? Yeah, because sunset here is at 8.30 p.m. Really late. We tend to wake up at about 5 a.m. when there's barely anybody out there. But nonetheless, we thought it'd be a great idea to catch a few spots for sunset and obviously the best region to do that on the island is on the west coast. And that's where we are right now. We are at Miro Duro do Fio as our first point on this sunset mission. <laughs> 
This is my drone flying stance. <laughs> Gotta get his exercise in too, somehow. We're at our second viewpoint right now, and you can actually see this from the first one. It's called Mira Duro Galore. And the reason why we could see it from where we were at before is because there's this defined red and white lighthouse, and it's only about a five minute drive or an 18 minute walk to get here. Now, the difference between the two is that the first spot is a lot more developed. There are guardrails, there's a little paved path, so it's a lot more accessible. Now, this spot is completely exposed. There's a ton of loose rock. There's no railing whatsoever. So if you guys do come here, make sure to be careful because it is a bit riskier yeah. and the views are honestly quite similar. <laughs> 